Picture yourself at a sleek, minimalist desk, a steaming mug of coffee within arm's reach, the soft glow of a high-resolution monitor casting a gentle light across the room, and in front of you sits a compact, unassuming box that looks almost too small to hold the power it promises. The upcoming M5-powered Mac Mini, a device that could redefine what a desktop computer can be for creators. Developers, gamers, and anyone who values speed, silence, and seamless integration. And as you settle in for the next nine minutes of this video, let me walk you through every reason why this tiny titan is poised to become the centerpiece of your workflow, the silent engine behind your most ambitious projects, and perhaps even the catalyst that pushes you to explore new creative horizons, starting with the legacy that brought us here. Apple's Silicon journey began in 2020 with the groundbreaking M1, a chip that shattered expectations by delivering laptop-class performance in a fanless, power-efficient package, proving that a system on a chip design could outpace traditional x86 architectures while consuming a fraction of the energy. And that success was not a one-off miracle, but the foundation for a series of increasingly powerful iterations, the M1 Pro, M1 Max, and M1 Ultra, each adding more CPU cores, wider memory bandwidth, and dedicated graphics engines allowing professionals to edit 8K video, render complex 3D scenes, and train machine learning models on devices that could still fit in a backpack. And then came the M2 and M3 families, refined on newer process nodes, offering higher clock speeds, improved neural engines, and better media encoders. Yet the industry buzz now points to a dramatic leap forward with the M5. Rumored to be built on a cutting-edge 3 nanometer process that packs an unprecedented number of transistors onto a single die, translating into a CPU configuration that could feature up to 16 high-performance cores paired with 8 efficiency cores, a next-generation neural engine capable of handling 30-plus trillion operations per second, and a unified memory architecture that can scale to a staggering 128GB of ultra-fast LPDDR5X, meaning that everyday tasks like browsing the web, streaming 4K video, or video chatting with friends will feel instantaneous, while demanding workloads such as compiling massive code bases, rendering photorealistic animations, or running multiple virtual machines will glide by without a hitch. And the GPU side of the M5 is equally impressive. With rumors of a custom Apple-designed graphics block boasting up to 64 cores, delivering performance that rivals mid-range dedicated graphics cards, enabling real-time ray tracing, high frame rate gaming at 1440p or even 4K, and flawless playback of the most demanding codecs thanks to an upgraded media engine that supports ProRes, HEVC, and AV1 natively, all while sharing the same memory pool as the CPU, eliminating the latency penalties that traditionally plague discrete GPU setups. And perhaps the most compelling aspect of the Mac Mini's design philosophy is its commitment to silent operation. A hallmark that has made the current M2-based Mini a favorite among podcasters, streamers, and anyone who values a distraction-free environment, and with the M5's efficiency gains, Apple could push the envelope even further, either by refining the existing heat pipe and low-profile fan system to keep noise virtually inaudible under sustained load, or by introducing a fanless variant that relies entirely on passive cooling, a feat that would be nothing short of engineering wizardry. And while the external silhouette of the Mac Mini is likely to remain recognizably compact, insiders suggest a modest increase in chassis size to accommodate the new cooling solution and a richer port selection, including a return of HDMI 2.1 for 4K at 120Hz or 8K at 60Hz, multiple Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 ports for ultra-fast data transfer, an SD card slot for photographers on the go, and a 10 by Ethernet port that will shave precious seconds off large file transfers and make network-intensive tasks like collaborative editing or remote rendering feel instantaneous. And when it comes to pricing, Apple has historically positioned its silicon-powered desktops as premium yet accessible alternatives to high-end Windows workstations. With the current M2 Mac Mini starting at $509.99 for a base configuration that includes 8GB of RAM and a 256GB SSD, specifications that are frankly insufficient for serious professional work, so it is reasonable to expect a tiered lineup for the M5, a base model with 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD priced around $999, a mid-range version offering 32GB of RAM and a 1TB SSD at roughly $1299, and a top-tier Pro configuration pushing the full 64GB of RAM, a 2TB SSD, 
and the maximum 128 GDI unified memory at about 17199, a price point that may raise eyebrows but becomes justifiable when you consider that you are essentially buying a single chip that replaces a separate CPU, a dedicated GPU, and a specialized AI accelerator, all while delivering a level of integration and optimization that no other platform can match. And the question then becomes, who stands to benefit the most from this powerhouse? And the answer spans a wide spectrum of users. From video editors who spend countless hours rendering 4K or even 8K footage and will see dramatic reductions in render times. To software developers who need to spin up multiple virtual machines, containers, or emulators for cross-platform testing without sacrificing performance. To graphic designers and 3D artists who rely on low latency, high throughput GPU access for real-time viewport rendering. Texture baking and complex simulations. To musicians and podcasters who demand pristine, glitch-free audio processing and the ability to run multiple DAW sessions simultaneously. And even to gamers who, despite the Mac's historically limited gaming library, will discover that the M5's GPU can handle indie titles, emulators, and cloud gaming services with ease, all while maintaining the silent, clutter-free aesthetic that makes a Mac Mini ideal for a living room entertainment setup or a minimalist office, and beyond raw performance, the M5 Mac Mini represents a strategic move toward future-proofing. Because Apple's unified architecture allows software developers to write code that can be deeply optimized for the silicon, resulting in faster app launches, smoother multitasking, and fewer compatibility headaches, and as more professional applications, from Adobe's Creative Cloud Suite to Autodesk's design tools, receive native Apple Silicon updates, the performance gap between macOS and Windows workstations continues to shrink, making the Mac Mini an increasingly viable option for studios, agencies, and freelancers who value a stable, secure operating system paired with industry-leading hardware. And for those who worry about the perceived closed nature of Apple's ecosystem, it's worth noting that the M5's sheer horsepower makes virtualization a breeze, allowing you to run Windows via Parallels, VMware Fusion, or even native bootcamp alternatives, giving you access to Windows-only software without compromising on speed, and the integrated Thunderbolt 4 ports ensure that external GPUs, high-speed RAID arrays, or 4K 8K monitors can be connected effortlessly, preserving the flexibility that power users demand. And let's not forget the environmental angle. The 3 nanometer process not only boosts performance, but also improves energy efficiency, meaning that a fully loaded M5 Mac Mini can deliver workstation-class capabilities while drawing less power than many older desktop towers, reducing both electricity costs and carbon footprint, a factor that increasingly influences purchasing decisions in today's eco-conscious market. And as we look ahead, the M5 Mac Mini could serve as the cornerstone of a broader ecosystem of Apple-centric professional tools. From the upcoming studio display with mini-LED technology to the next generation of iPad Pro devices that can act as secondary screens or input devices, creating a seamless workflow where files, projects, and even processing tasks move fluidly between devices. And this level of integration is something no other platform can replicate with the same elegance. So whether you are a content creator chasing tighter deadlines, a developer building the next big app, a designer pushing the limits of visual fidelity, a musician crafting intricate soundscapes, or simply someone who appreciates a machine that works silently in the background while you focus on your craft. The M5 Mac Mini offers a compelling proposition that blends raw power, quiet operation, future-proof architecture, and a price point that, while premium, is competitive when you consider the total cost of ownership compared to assembling a comparable Windows workstation with separate CPU, GPU, and cooling solutions. And as the release date approaches, Keep an eye on Apple's announcements, supply chain leaks, and early benchmark videos, because the real-world performance numbers will tell the full story, but based on the data we have, the M5 Mac Mini is shaping up to be a transformative device that could make the phrase desktop computer feel quaint, replacing bulky towers with a sleek, whisper-quiet box that sits comfortably on any desk, in any studio, or even on a shelf beside a bookshelf. And if you found this deep dive into the upcoming M5 Mac Mini insightful, consider liking the video, sharing it with colleagues or friends who might be on the fence about upgrading, and subscribing for more in-depth tech analyses that cut through the hype and get to the heart of what matters to creators and professionals alike. And feel free to drop a comment below with any questions you have about performance, compatibility, or pricing, and I'll be sure to address them in a future video.